What is going on, guys? Gomer's here. Uh, huge update. Uh, do I have a huge erection today? We'll see as far as these new cards go. Um, little mixed feelings. I have seen the attributes, but I will say, stick around to the end. Uh, you won't believe number nine. Uh, big schedule updates. Uh, new stuff to talk about there. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the new content today. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me fix my mic here. And that's go ahead and get going. All right. So here we are. Uh, new stuff. We have a brand new program here in the game today. Now there's a new program in the game today. Uh, Dog Days of Summer. Uh, this one's going to be lasting for 13 days. Uh, and on some regards, this is us. Bending over and getting fucked by SDS. Uh, specifically talking about a certain Mickey Mantle card that may or may not be existing. Um, we'll take a look at these just to say that we did. Um, there's an Andrelton Simmons. I don't want to harp too much on the guys there at the SDS stream. But I will have it known for you guys who didn't catch it. They called 70 contact and 95 power versus lefties insane i will never be critiqued upon my use of the word one more goddamn time if that is being you know constituted as insane harold baines you know is pretty good has good contact 117 against righties 117 92 uh no fielding 54 speed little lackluster uh say it with me <clears throat> mccutcheon morsel keith hernandez the perfect fly ball is gonna get it right up to the pitcher maybe past him a little bit roberts looks pretty good again he just suffers from attribute dysfunction right here sadly because uh, he does have good pitches uh with the sinker throws pretty hard 97 miles an hour uh no outlier i don't know why i even checked but good control i think he is an annoying windup i'm not sure percival unironically good uh, I am looking forward to this one. 117, 119 hit and K is quite fantastic. Uh, 86, BB9 is also a pretty comp. Uh, he does not have outlier, but he's going to throw a you know, respectable 98, maybe even 99 miles an hour on the radar gun, if you ask nicely. <sighs> Let's get it over with. Let's peel the bandage off. Mickey Mantle. 77 contact right. I will say this, he's a switch hitter. I liken this almost exactly to Griffey in a way. He, no, I think he's better than Griffey because 77 contact right, if you consider that his weak side opposed to Griffey lefty-lefty at 85 contact, I think the switch hitting capability is going to about neutral that out. So it's about equal to Griffey. The fielding and speed is basically negligible for the two here. Um, and otherwise, I think Mantle's just a better hitter than Griffey, so I do give him a slight edge. But that being said, a bit of an underwhelming card for the point that when are we getting the true 99 Mickey? You know, is it going to be in December? Uh, are we going to be opening our Christmas gifts? Uh, or reach down our stocking? Eh? There's a lump of coal. Oh, there's 99 Griffey. I'm glad to use him for the next two months before the next game comes out. Um, just a weird choice. If you want to drop a mid-game Griffey, do it in July. Something like that. So, it's actually not as bad as I first thought. The contact is rough, for sure. But otherwise, he's good. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. had high hopes for him. Uh, he is pretty good. I wish he had more power. 90-92 is, uh, is pretty good. He's got max defense. I don't care about that personally. Uh, we've talked about that a lot here. No secondaries, but if you put him at, I think, third base, he'll still easily have a gold shield. Probably the same for second base. The only two spots you can't go out of position for are catcher and first base. Never do it. Um, a nice amount of speed, of course. Um, I'm going to try him, for sure. Pretty good for Cal Ripken Jr. Let's talk about one that I actually am excited about, something I'm happy about. Uh, Pedro Martinez. Uh, 170 pound blows away in the wind, Pedro Martinez, but that fucking four-seamer is also going to blow you away with Outlier, baby. Yes, sir. He's going to be clocking it at 102 regularly on that heater. Um, he's essentially Grayson Rodriguez that just dropped. He's, I, I think he's the identical pitch mix and pretty much the same per nines as well. He has 80 BB9, so that and the velocity is going to make it uh, a little accuracy issues, but not bad. I'm really looking forward to him. I'm absolutely going to be picking Pedro. You only get one of the three bosses of, uh, again, 
that's how they're constructing it this time. Uh, I think it's pretty far and away Pedro is going to be your choice. Uh, Johnny Bench, Johnny's going to sit on the bench or sit in the marketplace for a little bit longer. Um, he's just not as good as Napoli. I think Cartaya is arguably better-ish. He does have pop time, which is good. Um, more people are starting to steal from what I've uh, been seeing here in Ranked. Um, he's more balanced than he's been before, which I will say that as a positive. He can play other positions, but Lord help me if you try to put him in the outfield. God bless you. <laughs> uh, there's tons of face of the franchise packs here. There's a lot of good stuff in this path that's going to be lasting for two weeks. There's a Conquest map right out. There's exchanges. There's missions, there's moments, the typical stuff that you've come to expect. As far as the new program drop, uh, another catcher, Jason Kendall. Uh, something you'll notice today, a lot of high contact, low power guys, which, you know, I guess is kind of what we've been talking about. We want the high contact, but, you know, give us a little power, maybe. Little? Uh, 69 and 90 power. He's got fantastic contact. Great defender. Um, no pop time for him. 79 arm, but he does have nearly maxed out block. Again, arm and block are the only two attributes that really matter for catchers. A uh, lot of speed. I think it's pretty good, but I don't think he's going to snuff out Napoli or anybody. Uh, should be a fairly cheap headliner. Uh, we have some other stuff today, but I do want to talk about the roster update because uh, they're saying it's the biggest ever. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> uh, Gomer's going to leave the screen here for a sec. Judge is a 97. And it's hard to say it's not deserved. I still don't think he's good online. Even at parallel 5, the contact's not even sniffing 80. Um, if he's up on the day, but holy fuck, what a season for Judge. DeGrom is up to a 95. Uh, okay. Kind of what I've been wanting. Kind of. Uh,. Uh, two Cardinals, two MVP candidates, uh, both get boosts there. Edwin Diaz goes 90 plus. Deserved. Bang out the trumpets, baby. Hellesley and Trey Turner get plus twos. Uh, Jose Ramirez minus three continues to go down. Acuna is now down from 90 plus, so it's going to be cheaper there. Um, we'll talk about Tatis in a second. We have Alcantara, Nico Horner, and Horny for Horner, Josh Hader. Um, you know, for all the shit I talked about, the Brewers making that choice, maybe it was smart because uh, he has not looked great. And then is a class A, the two Guardians both go. Hopefully the Guardians go down to the cellar and start losing more games here. The Twinkies need some ground here in the AL Central. Um, other shit, Austin Riley finally goes. Good Lord. Zach Wheeler gets it, I presumed. Cease, they give him it. Wow. They actually gave Dylan Cease some respect. I'm a little shocked. I, I will say. Michael Harris is an 84. This has got to be one of the quickest diamond jumps that we could ever see. I, I don't know exactly how Lindor doesn't go, but it is what it is. That's the only slight thing that's upset me to this point, so I can't really bitch. Rizzo went down. He deserved it, but then he didn't go. Same thing with Hunter Renfro. I pushed for these guys so hard they didn't update things in five weeks. Uh, we'll call it seven weeks because the last roster update was putrid. Um, Urias gets a plus two, Ahmed goes a plus two, Riumiro a fat plus three, very much deserved. Adolis, sure, uh, I disagree with that one right there. Gonsolin goes down, a little interesting choice right there for sure. Um, Kenley goes down, Seeger plus one, uh, just kind of cycle through this, Juan Soto does not go up. Wow, no bias there. Um, Chapman and Teoscar finally get big upgrades, they really deserve that, thank God. Springer goes down. That is uh, a choice, to say the least. McKenzie just gets a plus one. Ah, I see. Hmm. <laughs> it's deteriorating. It's making me upset a little bit towards the back end of this. Uh, Frankie Montas, I mean, yikes. Uh, good thing he didn't get traded to the Twins after all, am I right? Um, I don't know. Just going to slide through a few more. Sean Murphy gets it. Nate Lowe gets it. Great. Uh, Bobby Witt goes gold. That's cool. Bregman gets back up to gold here. Chaz McCormick, baby! You like Chaz? Finally, that investment hits right there. Uh, so just kind of sneak through. You can go ahead and pause as you feel fit. Uh, they upgraded a lot of players today. It's not going to be worth it to go through each individual one. If you want to see that, head on over to twitch.tv slash Legend. Well, uh, we have drops on today. You guys can get free packs in the game uh, so come on, hang out. Uh, there is new Tops Now cards today, I believe, in the other program. Yes, there is. There's five of them. And you know what? Some of them are okay. Uh, Tyro Estrada is 
one that's okay, you know? I will say 93 tops now is a bit weird because we were getting 97s basically at this point last year. Like the 97s Monte Grandal, if you remember him. We got the Jazz Chisholm in September. Uh, so hopefully eventually we get there. Kopech looks okay. He's pretty solid. The BB9, uh, little issues controlling the ball. Uh, Joey Menesis, actually pretty good. Pretty solid 3B. Uh, Suspect-ish speed in the outfield, but definitely passable. Uh, Drew Rasmussen looks like a card there for sure. And then Vaughn Grissom is also going to get a new tops now for those Braves. Uh, probably signed him to a 15-year, $15 deal shortly. Uh, the Braves, what they're doing, it is remarkable how they've been able to retain their stars. And it is, it's crazy. It really is. Oh, there's a new event. How could I forget? These cards are so good. Uh, Luis Aparicio. Uh, you won't be forgetting this guy anytime soon. He's going to be a mainstay in most ranked lineups. Woo! Look at that power, baby. Again, this is by far and away, the best Apricio has ever looked. Retro Finest does incredible work. Dr. Miami has got nothing on fucking Retro Finest cards. They just give it a whole face, uh, whole facelift. A a anybody looks pretty with the Retro Finest card. Um, wish Hal Newhouser would have got one. No outlier here, sadly. Uh, BB9 is questionable. Only 100 hit nine repertoires. Uh, leave something to be desired for sure. Uh, then Eddie Murray. He's okay. A switch hitter's great. 125-99 against lefties. Awesome. 90-99 is just all right. He's not fast. He's an all right defender. Not that I really measure first base defense any. Um, it, it just goes on for two weeks, which at that point I think is going to be a little bit fatigued, but I could be wrong. They could be very good. Um, what also could be very good is the schedule here. New rank seasons, Takashi Series Legend and Retro Finest Flashback. I have high hopes. We have Extreme Program with a Parallel 5 mission. So essentially the way they explained it on stream is a card in that Extreme Program, you have to get to Parallel 5. If it's a pitcher, it's not going to be too bad. If it's a hitter, um, you know, we have notorious one of one achiever hard part in the chat here. Says it takes about 20 hours nonstop to get. So you are not getting this done in one break. If you do, you're going to have irreparable damage done to your internal system. You have no idea what grass looks like at that point. You will need to see a doctor if you plan on doing this in one go. Uh, new mini seasons refresh too, which is going to be cool. Um, so overall, my thoughts today. Uh, I love Pedro. I think he's great. I think Cal's pretty good bench I, I don't really care for the roster update was morally good uh i will say they upgraded a lot of players it seemed uh we did a lot of clicking there only got to like silver cards so it seemed like they did a true overhaul as far as hitting attributes go uh i would give it mm, like six and a half out of ten i'm intrigued by the extreme stuff looking ahead um but yeah like there could have been stuff a little bit better like the mickey the cow the bench, there's no way that card is going to be good. That was DOA, dead on arrival, uh, McCutcheon morsels uh, as soon as he released. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Leave a like down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Here comes out.